So, there's been something in the news recently about on Coronation Street, um, which is significant to some of what I've been doing in some music releases and so forth. I made like a release based around the Coronation Street tune, basically. Um, and it's actually, and just when it's been sent for release, and it got like full score on Amazon, so like the maximum rating you can get on the ratings. And then mysteriously, we've had this Coronation Street star actress has mysteriously gone to hospital and had to have a blood transfusion. Whether or not that's true or not, or media spin, we don't know, but it probably, I'm not saying it's not true, but what I'm saying is, her name's Hudson, so why that's significant to the campaign and to everything that we've been working on recently is, well, looking into investigating, is that the guy, the biggest Facebook group, one of the biggest Facebook groups in Huddersfield, I think that's got over 20,000 people, or maybe more now, the guy who has it is called Hudson. So he's got a lot of weight and a lot of swing in Huddersfield. Now mysteriously, one of the other guys who's in charge of it is a, is a police officer. So, there's a lot of political weight in that group and they all like Huddersfield past. Um, it's like past and present. And they like the sort of older Huddersfield, they like sharing photos of Huddersfield. And a lot of people, because the council and strategic planning and all this, you know, the whole corporate contracted developing sector, that's basically what, all of these channels that are following and supporting now, like Verbs and Neil Oliver and, you know, Andrew Bridge and MP, all, all these, this political side, this political affiliation, which I would say it's like this side that Robert F. Kennedy is on, declared on versus this corporate black rock vanguard sort of global takeover. Um, <clears throat> All of the ancient site studying work, which I've done in this area for a case that they did attack our ancient site and they did build on it in 1954. And it is to do with the past of the Liberals versus the Labour Party being formed and even some recent developments. And like there's a Imperial Chemical Industries was put by the river by the ancient site and then they built on it eventually by the Queen's coronation. All that evidence for protecting the area. There's many, many people objected, but objections don't seem to work. So, and then there's all this, like, you know, they're making that toxic paraquat at that chemical plant now. It's not called Imperial Chemical Industries anymore. Um, but we've got, you know, basically all that area of study. So, to. To stop all this industrial military takeover and, you know, other building and, and save the area really from this overdevelopment, what a lot of people are kind of opposed to, the Hudson Group would be a very, very strong group, a very, very powerful um, influence because there's enough people in that group to get like these referendums on things. So. Now that there's some more progress being made and there's a lot of other things kicking off like in London with that Stop Eulez and they found out all the fines have been given out unlawfully well not all of them but a lot, a larger number of them they've had to actually refund them um, so it wasn't enforceable and then there's all the other different protests kicking off it, it all actually comes down to this WHO thing that Dr John Campbell's been talking about as well and a lot of the major doctors now it's, it's on for discussion because they're trying to change the law so for the whole of the world so that um, this WHO can override all democracies rights and freedoms if there's some sort of viral breakout um, and everyone's really worried about it and the fact is that it wouldn't even matter if it was a mistake or whether it was intended, um, because if, 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 if they've already developed something like that, they could do it. Now, the serious and importance 
of that WHO action is being downplayed by the Minister Parliament. It's the most serious thing ever. And what's happening at the moment is a lot of people aren't voting. There's over 50% of people aren't voting now, like 54%. Um, so the Labour Party are losing votes. All, all of the major parties are losing votes, sort of as people are sort of getting awareness of it and kind of like, as more and more people are paying less attention to the mainstream TV, which is trying to keep people distracted, they're starting to watch more and more independent YouTube channels, um, which is telling, explaining to people about it, like Campbell and Neil Oliver, and you know, so and a lot of people have been taken off um, TV, like you know, Lawrence Fox from the um, Reclaim Party. So, why that? Why is that Coronation Street incident uh, relevant? Why is that Coronation Street incident relevant? It's relevant because it, it's another attack that has a meaning, what's meant to scare and provoke and terrorise because that everyone likes and loves Coronation Street and that girl's name's Hudson, which is the same name as the guy who is, has a lot of sway on the local group, which literally could overturn the entire political um, landscape of the area. If people from, if they started talking about it on the groups or using the groups to get people to vote or sign petitions or whatever. Now, we've had that airport um, incident at Luton the other day. I think it was just a few days ago, the, the, the incident with the explosion at Luton Airport. And <clears throat> there are many, many, many other incidents as well like that cutting down of the tree on Hadrian's wall which was a teenager but we don't know who got the idea into his head who sort of provoked him to do it and that really really upset that Hadrian's wall tree getting cut down <coughs> upset a lot of people <coughs> in all of the um, ancient sites and countryside walking groups and some of those groups have got like over 100,000 people in them there's quite a lot of them and that really kind of woke everyone up so that that really it's almost like these incidents are threats like we'll take away the things you like or love or really i i believe that that coronation street star incident that hudson is the same as like what's been happening to these footballers mysteriously passing out and also um, Boris Johnson's dad's next door neighbour. What happened to Boris Johnson's dad's next door neighbour? And I actually think that, I think that someone sets it up and causes it and arranges it and has a controlling effect on the situation to arrange, to make the outcome, the desired outcome. And that, but I think that it's something that's been going on maybe forever through, you know, it's just um, something that, the elite have been doing or able to do with without being caught for a long time. Um, in light of what's happening now with this WHO, that is a serious alarm bell for the whole world. That WHO move, that WHO thing that they're trying to do now um, to take away the democratic rights around the world cannot be underestimated or downplayed at all and the thing is you know why and who and you know they've got this Paul, Senator Paul Ratman Paul has been investigating all these um, Fauci and so forth to do with the pandemic and virus but I think that it's important to note that I don't think that these incidents are just randomly occurring I think that they are terrorist attacks and from an opposition that is behind the globalist takeover, basically. Um, and they're using scare tactics and even killing people. I mean, you know, if you send an old country to war, like in Ukraine, then I don't think these people value anyone. So that's my opinion. Kind of might scare people or upset them, but 
that is what I think is happening. Um, I don't think these are just random incidents. 